everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be working on a bridal shower gift. My friend is going to one and she asked me to make her something. And she wanted to make her a personalized sweater, so that is what we did and this is the finished product. And I'll show you how I made this and how easy it is so you can make one too. And let's get started. Here I'm on Cricut Design Space and I have opened a new project. And this is a very simple sweater. I'm just going to add Mrs. Fom Established 2022. And for that we just need to enter some text. So I entered some text and I didn't really like all of them. So what I did is I just took a part of each of them here. This one is called Mystical Snow. This font is Winter Calligraphy and this one is Caroline. They can all be found at thefont.com. So I'm just going to ungroup all of them. And that way if I click all the letters are individual. So I'm just going to be mixing and matching the fonts that I want. So I like this M. And I wanted more of a straighter R, so I picked this one here. And I liked this S here, so I'm going to add that one. And this I like better, so I'm just going to get rid of all of that. And see this area right here? If you were to cut it, it would cut the S part, so we need to weld it together. And now it's gone, and this is just one image. Next, we're going to enter the bottom part here. And for that, I'm going to enter some more text. And for that, I used a font called Tahoma. And I increased the letter space to make it a little more separated. And I put it right below the misses. Last part is the established date. So we're going to put that in capitals. And that was 2022. And that goes right below the font part. Like that. Once you're happy with the image, you select all of it and weld it together. Now this is one image and it'll cut together. And this is going on the right side of the sweater. And I've decided to make the width 5 inches. So this is how we're going to be cutting it. So now I'm going to go over to make it. Here I have my mat and some black iron-on vinyl. And remember when you're doing iron-on vinyl, also you have to put the shiny side down. And now we can go ahead and cut this. And remember when you're doing HTV iron-on, you have to mirror the image. So we're going to mirror. And that just flips it. And now we can continue. Also remember to set your material to iron-on. And now we can just click go on our Cricut. And here we are, now we can put it on our sweater. And here we have the sweater. This is from Amazon and I'll have a link if you guys want to get the same one. And our vinyl is going to go right here, so I'm just going to remove some of the lint. And you could press it with the regular hand iron, but I'm just going to use my heat press just to make sure I get some good pressure since this is um, apparel. And it's also a good idea to press this first to make sure that your area is nice and flat and you don't have any wrinkles. So I'm going to go do that first and then I'll be right back. And here is the heat press I've been using. I really love this one. It's still heating up but it's almost at 300 degrees. Uh, but since this is just the first press, I'm just going to use it like that. And I just placed my sweater in there. So now we'll move this, push it back in and give it just a quick press. Maybe like five seconds. And now back to adding the vinyl. So it's a little bit warm here, but you can see the wrinkles are gone. We can go ahead again with our lint roller just to be sure that all the stuff is gone. And this is nice and flat. Now we grab our misses part and put it wherever we want. So it's going to go like somewhere here. Something like this. And so it is on my mat. Make sure to add your Teflon sheet. And now we can press this for 10 seconds at 300 degrees. And now moving to our mat. This is still warm. I literally just got it out of the heat press, but it's a hot peel, so just peel it off very careful. And there you have it, nice and done. 
And here we are, the finished look. As you can see, it was very simple to make this sweater. Just adding a little bit of writing can make a big difference. If you guys like this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And please also head over to my Instagram and my TikTok for a lot more pictures and videos of my work. And thank you so much for watching.